Hello there, and welcome to the Halloween Sharptacular. Don't look now, but I think there's a delicious treat coming right for you. I hope I didn't scare too many of you away. Here in the Sharp Kitchen, Halloween is our favorite time of year. Uh, honey, do not speak for everyone. Now, we've talked about this. I'm sorry, honey. Jonathan, Addie, and I are a few of the truly gifted who understand the importance of All Hallows' Eve. Dad and I will be communicating I will be communicating with my ancestors to receive the cooking wisdom. It'll be a father-son event. I happen to think Halloween is a heathen's holiday. <gasps> That's why Addie and I will be preparing a deliciously spicy and healthy fall trail mix just in time for Guy Fox night celebrations. Look, no one cares about Guy Fox. And look, you don't have to make food for Sky's party. Just let me go. Nonsense, honey. You're a guest, and you need to be gracious. Besides, you're contracted to stay. Nobody invited me to a party. Maybe next year. Son, go get the candy for the trick-or-treaters. Yes. For some reason, Tad just does not understand the benefit of promoting healthy snacking for Halloween. Halloween is for eating sugar and meeting ghosts. No one wants an apple. You know where these go? In the garbage. And that's just because people think they put razors in them. Okay, that only happened once, and it was on the west side. So I feel the spirits are near. Son, let's be off. Okay, where do I stand? Near the door. Near the door. Okay, let's get this over with. Daddy, dear, try to be gracious just this once. It's much more attractive. Now, as Tad and Jonathan taint their souls with gypsy magic, Addie and I will be making the perfect mix for any party. Do you really need me to stand here to watch you pour checks into a bowl? Yes, I do. Now be a good little helper and get the ingredients. I feel the spirits of my ancestors taking hold of my mortal body. Devout Protestants like myself make up for the pagan rituals of Halloween with our Guy Fox Night celebrations. Dad, are you okay? Get the door. This is where we burn an effigy to the French hero in devotion to our religion, as well as the French parliament, where a number of my ancestors served. Jonathan, stand outside so they don't ring the bell. But Dad, it's cold. I just want to help. You'll be the most help outside. So is there some special way that we pour this into the bowl? Yes, there is, my dear. I didn't go to La Cordon Bleu for nothing. I see glass and food all over the floor. <laughs> he must be talking about his family reunions. They never have good china. Don't step on the glass! My family is much less the meat and potatoes ancestry. For instance, my great-great-uncle Marie Antoine Carame was an inventor of hot cuisine. Okay, are we done now? Oh, not quite yet. The secret to this quick delight is in the spices that give it just the right kick. The president is a fraud. Be a dear and uh, go get the spices and fill me up on the way. Like I said, it's the spices that make this dish what it is. We're going to add a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of nutmeg, and just the tiniest dash of pepper. Susan, don't feed the monkey. Oh, Eddie, what took you? Well, go ahead. Spice it up. This is for your party. Jonathan, don't eat the pork chop. Don't forget to add the pepper. Damn it, Jonathan. I almost had Uncle Vaughn talking. I'm sorry, Dad. So, Tad, did you get the seven secret spices from Uncle Sanders? <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> I don't remember much except the doorbell ringing, which is a good, a good sign. How are you doing, my sweet? Pissed. I think it was just attacked by every kid on the block. So many little hands grabbing. Well, despite Jonathan's failure to follow instructions, I would say tonight was a success for the Sharp family. Family, food, 
and Halloween fun. If you call spouting nonsense a success, absolutely. Uh, Dad, didn't you say that there would be some... Can I go now? Dun dun dun.